Oh, darling, it's ham and cheese. Without the cheese, I'm afraid. Oh, sorry. Blame me. It's OK. Oh, how many times have I told you? It all goes down the same hole, doesn't it? Are you working on any special project today, darling? The tramps? You can't call them that. Rough sleepers. Did you know that? In Manchester, there's a homeless person every quarter of a mile. Mm -hmm. Are you sure about that? I think so. I'll check with Mrs Clarkson. <laughs> All right, well, bye, darling. Bye, dear. See ya. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hello. If you're waiting for the bus, it left about ten minutes ago, same as every morning. Really? Yes. Oh, no. Time to start walking. <laughs> I don't suppose you're me two pounds. I forgot my back up. Uh, that used to be my excuse when Dad made Ooh. fish paste sandwiches. There you go. But don't be spending it on chocolate. Thanks. See ya. Not that sure for distracting me. She's got no money on her. She'll start. Hardly. She'll have a tea when she gets She's 12. She needs to eat. Oh, not too runny, please, Roy. Look, you'll have to take it to the school. You what? Well, I can't go, can I, Roy? She needs a lunch. You don't think you're overreacting? What, because I don't want her collapsing on the classroom floor? Come on, love. Don't call me love. It's patronising. Since when? I I'm sure the school won't allow Faye to go hungry. Oh, you reckon? Oh, she'll be fine. You know what? I'm just going to sit over here and wait for the egg. Is, is everything all right? Yes, okay? yeah, you would. She'll be fine. Catching money earlier. You're 12. Please don't tell more. Of course, I'm gonna tell her. I don't know what goes through your head sometimes. Don't you think she's got enough to worry about? I know. So, you what? You're wagging school so you can smoke yourself silly in the park. Oh, well, you've got a bottle of Sambuca in here as well. They make you skinny, don't they? You won't understand. I'm sick of being like this. Like what? I'm on my own because everybody hates me. And everybody hates me because I'm fat. Even if I do 100 sit-ups, eat nothing but salad, nothing changes. Nothing. I'm disgusting. Does anyone know about this? Faye. Please don't tell Mum we're going. Don't make a fuss at school. Make it worse. If it can get worse. You're gonna make yourself ill and there's nothing wrong with you. Casey promised. Right, I promise, but only if you let me help you. Yeah? Come here. Uh, why don't you take your break? I'll bring some tea over. Oh, thanks, Roy. Listen, I don't want to waste our time arguing over packed lunches or you chucking tea in the washing up bowl. I'm worried about Faye as well, you know. Well, she's definitely not herself. She hasn't been for yeah, ages. she's a funny age. I've been here twice before, remember? Yeah, no, I just hope it's nothing too serious. I, I believe the topping should be hand-crumbled. That said, the fruit and uh, crumble ratio is the important element. Uh, Craig? Yeah. I don't like too much apple. Craig, do you know what's wrong with Faye? Wrong? No. I don't know nothing. Come on, son, I'm not asking you to grass her, you know. Uh, aren't we? Craig? You should speak to Faye. Oh, right, so there is something wrong, then. Do you know what? If you was her mate, if you was her proper mate, you'd want us to help her, wouldn't you? Craig. Craig! She's hardly going to open up, is she, in front of the whole family? Busy in case you can't get any truth out of them. Shh. Hi, love. Hey. Busy in case you're coming for tea. Shepherd's pie. You hungry? Suppose. How was school? Yeah, good, but I've got loads of homework, so I'm going to go and do it now. You, uh, you did go to school, did you, love? Only from what we've heard, the only reason you know so much about the homeless is because you've been hanging out with them on oh, park, no, bang no. on with it, park benches, shopping centres, everywhere else but your classroom. Why didn't you tell us you were getting picked on again? Because you go on and on, making me talk. Think about it makes me feel worse. Why do you think I hang out on my own? 
I just want to forget about it. I know, darling, but I can't believe that you don't think you can't talk to us. It's not your fault. Well, is it true what they're saying? That you're chubby? Mum, please. Oh, Faye, they're just jealous. You are absolutely perfect. Why didn't I know about this? School, they normally text me if you've got so much as a runny nose. Well? I forged your signature. Oh, Faye. Mum, I'm sorry. Right, well, today is the last day that that happens, OK? It's our term next week, but one way or another, we're going to get it sorted before you go back. Right, what about the rest of the week? This is Katie's fault. She promised not to say anything. Katie? Craig? Mm, don't have a go at him, cos he's been a good friend. He's made everything worse. Why didn't you tell me? She made me promise. Right, listen, it's good that we know, cos now we can get it sorted. If we report it, they will not me to shreds. Everyone hates snitches. Right, do you know what? What was you thinking keeping this from us? Thank God for Craig. Hang on, I only found out a couple of hours ago. <laughs> but you should never have promised you'd keep it a secret. I mean, you're a healthy size, love. Not like these bags of bones starving oh, themselves yeah. to death. What are you gonna say that to her for? A fay! Nice one, Katie. You can't mess with bullying, you've got to face it. She trusted me, I'm not exactly gonna go behind her back. It's just one thing after the other, Farah. And how exactly are you gonna help her, eh? I mean, you're nothing but a kid. Maybe if you weren't so hardcore, Dad, she wouldn't be sat in a room crying her eyes out. Come on. Dad's just worried about her. No. Katie's right, you've gone and made it worse. She's already said she can't open up to us, and then you have a go at her. I thought we were going to handle this together. A bit of backup would be helpful. Hey, your tea's ready. Right, listen, however any of us have handled this, it's because we've all got the same priority, yeah? Faye. So between us, we're going to work something out. Yeah, sorry. You're a good dad, really. Ditto. Mm -hmm. But Mum, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> that is not what he was saying the other day when he found out Joseph had airspray on. <laughs> oh, that was Steph. <laughs> Where's Gary anyway? Serving the community. Mm, Gotta help the community. Oh, you cheeky thing. Sorry. Uh, don't you dare start that talk. Lemonade. Hey, listen. I've just been telling these. There's this lad on Gary's community service. He'd nicked the shirt off your back from under your jacket. <laughs> well, Gary, that good. He got caught. <laughs> yeah, well, the supervisor, he's noticed that some tools was going missing. So he's told him he's being filmed 24-7. Only thing is now, the lad thinks he's on some sort of reality TV show. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine that show. <laughs> yeah. And now, every time anybody talks to him, he makes sure that he doesn't swear in case he gets evicted. <laughs> Robin, I think his name is. What they call him, Simon. Because he's simple. No, because he wears his jeans yanked up to her like <laughs> Simon Cowell. <laughs> mm. I'll get it. Uh, no, you sit down, you. Anybody think you're trying to swerve my shepherd's pie? Hey, a life without your shepherd's pie is a life I couldn't live. Oh, you <laughs> cheeky so-and-so. All I'm saying is that I wish you'd said something, that's all. I mean, can't kids be horrible? Mm. And you do know that you're not fat. And even if you were... Mum! Can you just drop it? Um, face, sweetheart. Go and eat your food in your room. There's a good girl. No, I want to stay. Go now, please. Go. Um, you better sit down.